Welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create this really simple certificate in Word. So the first thing we're going to do is just to change the page round to landscape. So go up to layout, go along to orientation, click on the drop down and select landscape. Now we're going to put our text in first, then we're going to put the graphics in because often the graphics will move once you start putting the text in. So go to insert word art, click on the drop down and select the first one here. Then just click inside, press Command or Control A to select all of the text. Then I'm just going to type in the word certificate. It's going to make this a little bit bigger. Then go to home. And then using this icon here, I'm just going to increase the size of that text to about there. Then go to shape format. Then go to align, click on the drop down and select align to center. That will align it perfectly to the center of your page. Now I'm going to copy and paste this. You can do it any way you want. I'm going to select it and hold down my Alt or Option key. Click and drag. That's the way I like to copy and paste. But you can do it the normal way if you want to. Just select it, go to the Home tab, select Copy, Deselect, and then just click Paste, and it will paste it for you. Then in this box here, once again, I'm going to select my text and then change my text. I'm just going to paste this text in. And if you select it, go to the Home tab, you can see I'm using the font Baskerville. And this particular font size is 24. And the one above here is 48. Once again, I'm going to go to Shape Format, go to Align, Align to Center. And once again, I'm just going to copy and paste this text. Then I'm going to select it and paste in some more text, but obviously you'll be typing in your particular text. And this text here is font size 16. And then once again, align, align to center. Now I can put my line in for my name. So go to insert, shapes, go to line, click and then hold down your shift key and draw a line out. If you hold down your shift key, you'll get a perfectly horizontal or vertical line. Then I'm going to go up to here and select black. Then in shape format, go to format pane again, go to line, click on the drop down, and then select width. And my width is going to be one point. Then once again, go to align, align to center. Now we can come back and realign all this if we want to. So for example, this text here, I can just use my arrow key, move that up a little bit, and then do the same with this one. Then underneath the line, I'm just going to copy and paste this text. So select it, hold down my Alt or Option key, click and drag out that text box. Then once again, paste in some text. And this text in here, is 11, font size 11. And once again, we go to shape format, align, align to center. Then we're going to put in the signatures and the date at the bottom. So grab the line, just click on the line. I'm going to press Command or Control C, deselect Command or Control V. And I only do this way with a line because the lines are really fiddly to try and copy and paste, grab hold of and select as you can see. So grab the end with this little green ball, click and then hold down the shift key and I'm just going to reduce the size of it. Then I'm going to grab this text box and then copy and paste it again, holding down my Alt or Option key. Then click inside, select all of my text and then just type the word signature. Then reduce the size of that box. And now what I'm going to do is select this box hold down my command or control key, click on the line. You can see they're both now selected. Go to shape format, go to align, and select align to center. Now, if they align center to the page, it's because you haven't got this element checked here that says align selected objects. Once they're aligned together, go up to group and select group. Now this is all one element and you can move it around as one. But you can also, again, copy and paste it because now we're going to select this little box here. You don't have to ungroup it. Just select the text and just change the text to date. Then we can just use our arrow keys if we want them a little bit further apart. 
So now we've got the basic text in, we can now put in our graphics. So I'm going to go to Insert Shapes, click on the drop down, and I'm going to select this moon shape here, and then click and just drag out this moon shape. Now you can use this little yellow box here to make the moon shape more or less curved, it's completely up to you. And you will notice on the outside of here there is a border line. You can keep that if you want to, but I'm going to get rid of it. So select it, go to Shape Format, go to this icon here and click No Outline. And then we can begin to move this around and rotate it using this little circular arrow. Rotate it to wherever we want it. And then the rest of this becomes a copy and paste exercise. So I've now got this shape. I'm going to hold down my Alt or Option key, click and drag out another shape. You can see they're now both selected, but I only want to change the colour of this one. So deselect them both, reselect this one, then go to Shape Fill, and then select a colour of your choice. I'm going to select a light grey. Then you can see this one's over the top of the other one, whereas actually I want it underneath. So again, select it, make sure you're on Shape Format, Go to send backwards, click on the drop down and select centre back. And then once again, you can move and rotate this one to suit your style or needs. Stretch it out if you need to. And then lie it across the certificate wherever you want it. Then I'm going to do that again, copy and paste it. But this time, I'm going to deselect both of them, reselect this one. Just reduce the size of it slightly. I'm going to turn it all the way around. Then I'm going to move it across to here. Then I'm going to select the dark one again, copy and paste it. Then I'm going to change this one to white. And then I'm going to move it to here, but I'm actually going to then, I'm just going to click center backward. It's gone behind that shape. I click again, and you can see now it's gone behind this shape, but it is in front of this shape here. So now once again, I can just use that rotate tool you see it's down here, I'm just going to rotate it slightly and then I'm going to do the same with this one, copy and paste it by clicking and dragging it, holding down the Alt or Option key. Again I'm going to turn it to white, I'm going to go to send backwards and click and then once again I can move this round. Now on this white one here I want to create a little bit of a shadow so I'm going to select it, go to Format Pane Go to this icon here, click on the presets and then select from any shadow you like. You can see we've got a slight shadow here but I'm going to increase the blur a bit more just so it makes it a little bit more blended. Deselect, let's move this grey one out a little bit. So once you're happy with your graphic design here, I'm just going to select all of them by holding down my command or control key. Select each one of these items. Go to Group, select Group. Now it's all one item. We can hold down the Alt or Option key once we've selected it. Click and drag out another one. And then deselect it, then reselect it, find the rotation end. And then turn it all the way around and then move it to exactly where you want it. It doesn't have to match the other side. It's completely up to you, it's your design. So I'm going to put mine about here. Now I'm just going to create a little bit of a border. So go to Insert, Shapes, and click on the square. Click and drag out a rectangle. Go to Align, Align to Center, Align, Align to Middle. Then with the Shape Fill, select No Fill. But with the Outline, I'm going to select Black. And then click on the drop down, go to Weight, and I'm going to select three. Then I'm going to go to send backwards, center back, and deselect it. So once you've got this certificate sorted within Word, you can now go ahead and save this as a PDF file, as a Word document, or as a template. And to do that, you go to File, Save As. You've got the option here to save as a Word document, or click on the drop down and click PDF or go to
go to File, Save as Template. This means that you can use this over and over again. It will come up in the home page of your software once you click on Word and, and open it. Make sure you're on Templates and make sure you're on Microsoft Word Template. Change the name and then click Save. If you really can't be bothered to do all this yourself, there is a link in the description below for where you can go ahead and download this and make the relevant customizations. So I hope that's helped you today. If it has, please like and subscribe and have a great day.